Alright, let's play one more of these missions and then play some of Jeeks later on. Oh, oh, we're back at the house where we cleaned all the dishes. Stab him. I wanted to shoot him earlier. I know there's a gun upstairs. Dinner's ready. Yeah, yeah, Let me just do all the rest of my drugs in front of my daughter. Totally Detroit normals. Yeah, for anyone who watched earlier, this little girl is a bitch and I wanted to shoot her as well. That man is a maniac who can't handle his drugs. And upstairs is a gun, which I'm going to go and get. Nope, I'm not allowed. Oh, serve the dinner. I want to serve justice in the form of a bullet. Serve for food. Oh, he's wanking again. All he does is just sit there wanking it. Which would be fine if his daughter wasn't in the same room. Alright. I always like to do what I'm supposed to do last. Okay. There is an option to do something else over here. What is it? I fixed the hole in the wall. Turn on the light. The secret achievement. <laughs> we, we did it. Uh, yeah. Covert Go Blue. This is the first one. He broke... Apparently, he's got no money. And he's like a broke-ass standard knobhead. But he could afford this robot brand new. And then break it. And then buy a new one. That makes complete sense. Also, this robot cleans dishes by putting them in the bin. Which is super economical. All right, what, what do we got? Spaghetti and tomato ketchup. Ugh, that guy's not going to like this. Oh, I missed one of the secrets. Let me see what I can do with this. Dee -dee -dee. Let's just walk through all the weird drug haze. What are you doing? I'm walking around. What do you think I'm doing? I'm walking around, you fucking fat bitch. All right, let me just give them the dinners and see what happens. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. There wasn't much in the kitchen. You spent all your money on a sex bot. What do you think is going to happen? Now you got to eat a pot noodle all day. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here. Totally fine. Uh, what do we think? Napkins or water? I think water first. Nice. It is funny. I lost my job because of androids. It didn't let me. I want to pour it for the girl. I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. All right, my pad is not playing ball. I don't know. I'm, I'm moving my pad. Nothing's happening. Fucking android. Pour the fucking water, you silly fucking Joke. shit. What the fuck? All right, Android's my pad is so flat. There we wonderful. go. That's how we do it. Tired. They're sad. We did it. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Your life's fine, son. You got you got the best looking robot in this game. What are you worried about? What's your fucking problem? Why is this a guy always fight starting a fight with a two year old? <laughs> Not the life you dreamed of, eh? It doesn't know what life is. She's only four. You Maybe fuck. You this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. Clearly it is. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. You should stop taking drugs, because look what happens. You can't fucking see. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. I just made that. I ju Why didn't you smash the table up before? All right. Now we got to get serious. You can slap a girl all you want, but you just knocked my spaghetti on the floor. Here. You know how I feel about spaghetti. Come back here right now! Yes! You stay there. What if I don't want it? Nah.
Oh, I have to actually obey. Oh, is this the moment? The epiphany moment. Oh, up. Oh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna force. I'm gonna force through my programming. Oh, change my mind. Let's try this again. I think my hand slipped off the pad. So, I know from an earlier mission there's a gun in the drawer. I'm going to shoot the little girl first, though. She doesn't need to live in a house like this. I'll do everyone. If, if there's spaghetti on the floor, you know it's just domestic abuse central. Number one, take off this stupid fucking plastic dress. Reason with Todd, I'll run upstairs. You know I'm shooting this fucking bastard, so rub my balls. She didn't take off without a word. How'd you know she went off with an accountant? You could have, you had a family. Uh, is this where the gun is? I think so. Right. Nailed it. She knows what I'm thinking. Let's play the guitar. Fuck it. You're free from programming. Let's do the jams. No. All right. Well, she is moving quite fast. Here we, here we go. Number one, I'm shooting the little girl. Everyone's with me, right? She is, she's the cause of all the problems. That's enough. Leave her alone. No, you drop my spaghetti. That's the key. This, that's the crux of this issue. Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order. No, I want you to leave her alone. I want you to eat that spaghetti. Get down there. Fucking eat it. No, eat the spaghetti and everything will be fine. You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Oh, we got a flight sequence. Whoops. Fuck that one up. All right. Nailed it this time. Oh, the pad. Why is the pad such a fucking... Oh, man. I hope this is actually, if I fail, I die. All right, Kung Fu. Nailed it. Here we go. Shoot him, kid. I presume the kid's going to shoot him. Shake the pad. Good. Nailed it. All right. I feel kind of stupid shaking a pad like that. Oh, spam the buttons. Nope. Ah, I'm losing the fight, ladies and peeps. Nope. Shoot him. Sh Grab my spaghetti. Fuck. Wrong buttons again. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. My pad's at the ready. Sold it. Nailed it. And again. I grabbed a belt and he got shot. Or did I grab a gun? I don't know. He's seen this. She's seen this a few times. There is no way he has not banged that robot. All right. We did it. The plan was to get the gun and just shoot him, but I turned it into a bit of an ordeal for that little kid. But, let's go downstairs and eat that spaghetti. The spaghetti's ready. Let's go. Ah, uh, all right. Come on. It's only been on the floor for a couple of minutes. So it'll be fine. It's still warm. Don't worry about it. The floor's probably as clean as those plates. Where are you going? I don't have a choice. Oh, ladies and peeps. Ladies and peeps, what a shambles! We left the spaghetti! <sighs> well, that was exciting. Alright, let's get on the bus. <laughs> we did it. We've escaped the spaghetti house. But we got no money. I've just stolen a little kid. <sighs> At least all the missions are connected. Because you had to unlock that uh, drawer in the first mission. Otherwise you wouldn't have access to the gun. That's pretty good. I'm sure I could have reasoned with him. But I was in the mood for some shooters. It's just a bit of a shame I couldn't kill that little girl too, because now I'm stuck with her. I'd rather just be off. I'll go to Eden's Barb all by myself. 
Kara shot Todd. Look at all the things I've missed. Look at all the things I've fucking missed from this mission. Damn, I took the easy way out. Just shoot Todd. Also, yeah, look at all look at all the things I missed. Alright, let's have one more mission, maybe. I'm still enjoying myself. Oh, it's back to this place. Thundermo Tweaker. <laughs> We're gonna have to kill him too. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last twenty-five years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, Why can't I get up and dance? What am I doing here? True, you should just stay in. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. All oh, the excitement. Nah, I'm going to fucking have a wank. Ah, oh, not allowed. Everyone likes a post-party wank if they didn't hook up with someone. Yeah, fuck. Ah, oh, I just can't leave him. It's not fair. Sorry, Carl. I'm coming. Like I said, Carl, just because you didn't get lucky doesn't mean I can't bang your ass. So, I presume his son is going to be here. And I'm going to have to murder his son because he's stealing his money or something. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. I wonder if I could have lost to Todd if I had made too many mistakes. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. Thunderbolt Hellkite has broken into my house. He's looking for cards. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. It's, it's obviously your son. What do you think it's going to be? No, I'm going to come with you. No, sorry. You stay there. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. All right. Are we taking the force option, or are we going to use uh, the pacify bounce spells on his balls? Reason, order, advise, or warn. Then we'll give him some advice first. You should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Alright. Let's not. Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! I don't think I'm a man. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Uh-oh, he's gonna have a heart attack, old man Joe. Bitch. Oh. He, nah, he didn't want me to. He didn't want me to. So I'm not doing shit. This is one of the, like... There's no gun. He didn't knock any spaghetti on the floor. It's fine. Or I'm, do I have no choice again? Alright, I also can't figure this fucking pad out. Don't do- I'm trying to not defend myself. Why is it forcing me to? This is supposed to be a game of choices. No, I have to. I have to knock him out. Well, if I'm gonna- if I'm gonna, I might as well. Now maybe I get to choose. That guy's, uh, what'd you call it? You that guy's gonna shout you. his Burger King that he had earlier. You hear me? You're nothing. 
Why do they program robots to feel pain from a sweet jab? Carl, no! Oh. Carl. Carl's deed. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody take my foil delvers. Tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. It was the android. All right, let's see. Oh no, this is not even a just no, no reasoning. Classic popo mentality. Hmm. Well, so obviously the splinter there was whether or not I punched that guy in the face. Hmm. Hmm. I presume it, well, that's, I, I can only presume. All right, one more. We'll keep Why playing, we'll keep playing for a bit, we'll see. What happened before you took that knife? Leo should have been played by Seth Green. They've got some expensive actors. How long were you in the attic? Why don't you even try to run away? <laughs> if I have no choice, who is the robot? That's true, CGs. Say something, God damn it! Don't they have hard drives? Like, don't their eyes record what's going on or something? All that technology and they don't have a standard SSD. <laughs> what a load of old tits. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. Just download its dick. It's not human. Androids don't feel pain. Then why'd that guy wince when he got punched? Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? <laughs> they can self-destruct. What a what a premium piece of uh, like programming to put in. Uh, if they go off the rails, don't worry. They can always jihad themselves. <laughs> Just makes total sense. So that guy can blow himself up at any stage, but nobody worries about it. Oh, maybe self-destruct just means break. In my mind, self-destruct just means massive explosions. Ah, <sighs> what a game. All right, let's extract the confession. Number one, stick my dick in his ass. See how he likes that. <laughs> that will make me talk. <laughs> All right, he's not interested. But how about we stick the bin on his head? Nope, can't do that either. What's up, guys? I can see. Oh, it's me. Hello. Look at my nice suit. What the fuck is it doing now? <laughs> Wait, I, what is it doing? All right. Oh, everything sorted out. Let's browse the file. Even though I was just there and I know all of this shit. Anything else? Anything else? Gather the clues. There's what clues are in here? All right, nobody's washed them up. I need to ask him about why he made a shit demon, a shit statue. I think that's the only thing I want to get to the bottom of. Why did you make a statue out of shit and leave it in the shower? So his arm's busted. What did it say? Hip non critical damage caused by the bat. Yep. Same thing. Why do people get robots just to abuse them? I don't understand. But I suppose that's that's real humanity. Processing LED, signs of software instability. 
All right, so I think I need to talk to him to the extent where he doesn't blow himself up. All right, one more clue. He's a housekeeper. Property of Carlos Ortiz. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. Reach for optimal stress for a confession. So we have to stress him out. Uh, optimal stress. I don't know what that is. So let's ask him about his own wounds. They're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Oh, he's not talking. Is that the whole thing? My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? It's too low. All right, we need to stress him. Okay, so I'm supposed to stress him out. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? All right, we're getting there. Uh, probe memory. Uh, probe? Probe of the memory? <laughs> Stressing out a robot. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Probe his memory or threaten him. If you probe his memory, you'll just get the whole fucking story, so I don't understand what the g shit is. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Alright, didn't like that. Do that. <laughs> he didn't like that. Man, the graphics are fucking top beans. What are they going to do to me? They're going to reformat you and you just go back into service. They're going to destroy me, aren't they? Nah. No. Oh, I should have said yeah. That would shit him up. I think they just want to understand. They know you oh, you see? I bollocked that. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell them you followed me? Because you just have left me there. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. This interrogation is all over the place. <laughs> it's not a good job. Then talk to me. Uh, I. How did that guy afford this robot in the first place? Just like the uh, the man with the sex bot. Pressure it, probe its memory, or convince it. Well, probe its memory seems to be like the just the end. So let's give it some pressure. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? Oh, that boosted it. All right. Either way, right. CGs. Did you not see that guy's house? Everything is going to this is only 20 years in the future. That robot looks a bit good. Uh, convince it or give up. Or probe. Oh. If you don't talk, they're going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. This is not... They're going to destroy you. Oh, I'm optimal. Understand? I'm optimal levels. I know you're scared. You're lost. So I need to be between 50 and 60. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me and you'll feel better. Oh. This is so all over the shop. So all over the place. I'm playing good cop and bad cop, but it's just me. <laughs> this is not L.A. Noir. It definitely isn't. He tortured me every day. Ah, oh, we got him. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... Grabbed a knife and 
I stabbed him in the stomach. And then I liked it, so I ate his dick. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. Until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. All right, I've got three RA nine. What does that mean? The statue. I need to know what that's about. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? Shit. It's an offering. It was the only thing I could find in the toilet. An offering, so I'll be saved. To who? To who, Humbabo? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to who? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. <gasps> Is that the crux of this whole game, ladies and peeps? RA9. RA9, is that like the machine god? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. <laughs> Rosewater 9. That's a good one. No more humiliation. Everyone will have flannel shirts. And be completely overexcitable and never turn up for work. We'll just do any old YouTube shit. Alright, I'm just gonna keep going on with this. RA9. Who is RA9? Oh, is he closing down? Why did you write, I am alive on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing, that I was just a piece of plastic. Well, clearly I'm lithium. I had to write it. That's metal. To tell him he was wrong. But he was already dead. Uh, attic or trigger? I think attic is Why more interesting. In the attic? Instead of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. What about RA9? He told you to stab him. Feeling emotion. Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Nailed it. I'm done. Alright, they'll be sticking you in the trash compactor in the morning. Sorry, son. Goodbye. How's the volume, by the way, ladies and peeps? Shall I turn the game volume up a bit? When I watched the video back last time, I thought it was kind of quiet, but no one mentioned it. What do you think? What do you think? Slightly higher or is it fine? Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Uh-oh. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. He's going to blow himself up. It'll self-destruct if it feels threat. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's going to tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut up. Well, it's already confessed. Mouth. It's already confessed, you dumbass. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Alright, volume is fine, apparently. I'm still gonna just Stay keep intervening. You, Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. <laughs> Detroit BD. Just pull a gun on any old bitch. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Just pull a gun out in the in the PD. It's just a procedure. <laughs> well, at least the guy didn't blow up. Everything is all right. Even though they're just going to turn it off anyway, so I don't understand what the difference is. Nobody's going to hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. Oh, 
Oh man, I like this game. I'll be honest. The truth is inside. And so, like Westworld, ladies and peeps, we all have the maze inside us. All the robots. Software instability, something. Hmm, man, Westworld. Tandy Newton. I'll play that game all day long. All right, so Android was sent back to its cell. I presume this is Android blows up, and then this is Hank gets shot. I like the fact there are so many options of how something can go, but at the same time, how motivated am I going to be to replay this game up to every point and then choose something slightly different? I don't know, but playing everything once is fun. Hopefully we're on our way to the Eden Club. It's teased me too much. I need to find out if these sex robots are, are all they're the hyped up to be. It should let me pick from the fork of choice. Yeah, it would speed the game up if you could just go back to wherever you were. Off the bus. <laughs> Get off the bus, you multi million pound robot. Into the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Wasn't she covered in shit literally when she got on the bus? Now she's clean as a whistle. Wake up. Wake up. We have to go and live under a bridge now. That's the life we've chosen. You shouldn't let me kill your dad, even if he was a fat, nasty bitch. Look at my clothes. Come on, we need some continuity. Yeah, they were covered in shit. Uh, we can't live on the bus, obviously. I pressed X. Nope, nope, nothing. She's not interested. This is our life, kid. We got a couple of bins over there. That's a good start. At least you're with a sex bot. So I could just go to the Eden Club. Eden Club is where this game is headed. I can feel it. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. The bus stop. Salt. If you can't live at a bus stop, you're too snazzy for Detroit anyway. Alright, two robots over there. Let's go let's go speak to them. Burger Zone! Let's roll. Let's get a couple of cheesy bit cheesy max. Closed. I wonder if these guys will actually speak to us. T temporary android parking. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? You fucking bitch. <laughs> Why don't I have the option to do fights now? I'll swing my pad all over the place to slap this guy in his ass. All right, so it's not that way. Just a couple of things over there. A derelict old building that looks just as good as my house. Everyone loves a generic store. This is a store. What do I sell? I don't know. Come and find out. You want to jump in the bin? Jump in the tr the shitty truck? The garbage truck and get squashed? Oh, is that something over there? I st I'm still I'm still quite tickled that there was a shop called The Store. Alright, there needs to be a, a sprint button. Uh-oh, I've lost a kid. Oh dear. Well, surely the kid should be following me. It's my game. Where is it gone? Oh, she's at that bus stop now. Ah, <sighs> Alice. I want to find out what's in that shop. We've already discovered the store. Could oh, it's drug. It's a drug store. Oh, I was having fun. That was just a store. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. All right, she's not so cold. Fine. 
Oh. We have nowhere to go. Who's this handsome man? WR six hundred. Oh, now I've got AIDS. Well, that's the risk you run. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Oh, do you think that was AR9? He just infected me with mega viral AIDS. He gave me super gonorrhea. Robo... What's a, what's another? Ro Robo... I don't know. The clap. That's gonorrhea still, isn't it? Chlamydia. Robo clams. I've got robo clams. Sorry, bitch. I don't know if I can transfer it to you, but... I presume that guy is AR9. That's my guess. And he lives in a huge warehouse with all wires coming up out of his ass. Alright, what store is this? The 24 store. Maybe Don't know. 24. Inside. It could just sell anything. At least you'll be out of the cold. Give me some 24s, please. <laughs> nice, nice that they stick with the old Apu standard. Alright, let's have a look. Looks good. Home appliances in a in a toilet. Yep. I always go down the 7-Eleven to buy myself a blender or a printer. <laughs> That's what I want from 7-Eleven. A printer. Alright, got some canned beans. It's, I like this game. I like it. There's little things like this are tickling my balls. <laughs> Everyone loves Ben and Jerry's. She's not interested. What's... Oh, get a hammer. Let's just kill the girl. Why? Who is selling this fucking murder equipment at a 7-Eleven? We got everything. You, want, you were next to the chips. We got hammers and duct tape. <laughs> Fuck me. Ah, ladies and peeps. What a, what a shop. This is the shop of the future. <laughs> murder Central. What do you want? Wow, this guy's an asshole. I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a Oh, that's a bit rich. Shit. That wasn't what I wanted to ask. Homeless android. Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? I agree with you. I just wanted to ask you where I could take a shit. Go if you're not gonna buy anything. All right, give me the hammer and a gun, and then we'll see what's what. Oh, sold! Sold! <laughs> Grab myself a hammer, smash that guy in the face. Done. Oh, take the pickaxe. <laughs> take the axe, that's even better. Ah, alright, so if I'm gonna steal... What, what am I gonna steal? A bag of cookies? Fine. Food for Alice. Nah, take some, take some, let's play the long game. Let's play uh, like this game was Monkey Island. So we'll take the printer and then we'll go outside and we'll sell it for a hard drive. And then we'll plug the hard drive into my tits and rewire me so I can be a sex bot. Then I can go to the Eden Valley, do a sex show for a thousand dollars. Then just buy a car and le drive over Alice and that's the end. Alright, I don't want to steal a toy. That's a bit shit. Monkey Island is awesome. All of those old point-and-click games are my jams. Alright. <laughs> I was going to say, it's that easy to steal from a convenience store. You just walk behind the counter and take the shit out of the register. Oh, I already have a gun! Sorry, son. You shouldn't have been such a fucking asshole. All right, now I'm now I'm thinking. Um, should I really should I really steal all this money? I don't think I am going to. Let's play slightly seriously. I've I've already stolen I've already stolen a chocolate bar. That's a, that's enough. Why? I'm gonna shoot this guy, and you shouldn't see it. That's why. I don't think I'm going to shoot him up, ladies and peeps. It is sort of my style, but... Oh, fuck. Well, too late. Too late. I said try something else. Don't move or I'll shoot. I'm shooting him. Oh, 
I wanted to try. I, I must have pressed the wrong button. I thought I backed out of it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. I, uh, I'll kill both of these fuckers. Excuse me, are you done? I am done, thanks. Man, look at that scanner. Sexies. Oh, there's tons of money. We're going to get some strip show money today. Straight down the Eden Club. I thought I'd have to dance. Instead, I'm just going to pay for some dances. Go to the private room. Forget all my troubles. True, CGB. I mean, yeah, five dollars for a case of beer. Open the register. That's not bad. I mean, the the robots are only eight thousand dollars each, but beer for five bucks, sold. And convenience stores with printers. Uh. Turn around. Turn around. Let me check out your AS. If it's good, you live. If it's fi if it's flat, you're dead. I'm sorry, but I really need this money. This whole thing I didn't actually mean to do. Shoot! Uh, if there's an option to shoot him, I am going to shoot him. Ah, oh, the last option must have been it. And I didn't I couldn't figure it out. Ah oh, dear. We disappeared. We're 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 AR nine now. Fuck. No, we just hid in the bin. That's fine. <laughs> that makes sense as well. We've got some money now. Wait, how did you get it? I just I just found it. The cashier for a few dollars. I found it on the floor. I pulled out my tits, and then the f the money just came out of the sky. All right, one more secret thing to do. What's the secret thing? Smash the fire hydrant. I'll lie to everybody, especially kids. Although she has seen me just murder her dad, so who cares? She's like, okay, you can shoot my dad, but taking fifty p out the till. Now I'm out. So let, let's see the options. There's another shop there. There's a motel. I've got enough money for a motel. Or I can sleep in the bin. Let's go to the motel or watch some TV. <laughs> Nothing is more of a catchable thing than rob a convenience store and then use the hotel next door. Do <laughs> the perfect crime. All right, what's this? The laundry, the laundromat. Maybe I can just steal everybody's shit. Just rob every shop. And they have so much money I could buy a Ferrari and just boost away. Five dollar beer, it's gotta be six hundred dollar Ferraris. Oh, change clothes, that's good. Alright. Man, some of these some of the graphical effects are taking me by surprise. They're quite good. Alright, that looks empty. Confirmed. Also, after I just talk up the graphics, it gets super blocky interior shit. Nothing. Alright, so we're going to have to steal this guy's clothes. I wanted to steal some lingerie. I'm going to have to just take hoodies. That's a shame. That's a shame. I was hoping we get to see this girl's baps, but un unfortunately, no. Uh, steal clothes. That is what I'm doing. I'm corrupting this woman. Let me steal the clothes he's wearing. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. I need to be naked. We can't steal! You, oh, wait, you, wait, hey, you just killed my dad, but, but you can't steal a pair of pants! I'm sorry, Alice, but 
Sorry. I need to. I can't walk around looking like a hobo with Kara on my shirt. Everyone's just gonna be looking for Kara. Easy. I got a fucking name tag. It's gonna be super bad if, in like four missions' time, they bring up all the evidence against me, and it's full on. Yeah, I robbed a shop. I killed a man. Stole a kid. All of that shit. It'd be good if I could have messed that up. I could, I suppose I could leave him some money. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. I need a hotel room. Oh, bollocked it. Oh, not another pad one. <laughs> Fucking hell. Maybe my pad's busted. Because it is not... I don't know. Lift it up. It's fucking moving up. Ah, oh, just rub my dick. All right, we did it. Also, how is this guy asleep in this position? <laughs> Let's steal his iPad too. Let's get an extra ten dollars out of it. Let's let's double. Let's watch him again and then leave. Oh man. This game's not letting me have any fun. You could have double, double Autumn Breeze watched clothes. Alice probably will turn on me if I keep doing all this. I should have stolen her uh, teddy bear. Uh oh! Ah, oh, I thought the popos were going to get us, or the man was going to wake up. Ah, oh, I've bollocked it. She's wearing more clothes. We need less clothes. Century Magazine. The beeline to disaster. I presume that means pollinating bees are officially extinct. Jesus. I thought the world would end if all the bees died out. For decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute for Endangered Species announced at their Washington AGM yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exist only in captivity. What a shambles. What a shambles. All right, I'm not reading all this, but that's bad news. But it's also good news that we have sex robots. So we can't pollinate our crops, but we can fuck robots. Swings and roundabouts, my friends. I want to shoot this little girl. I'm just telling you that now. I don't care what happens. Look how sad she is. Oh, man, that guy lost his pants. Your dad's dead. We just killed your fucking dad. Uh, I can go to the... I'm going to keep exploring. See if I can steal some more stuff. But I can afford the motel now, so that's good news. And like I said earlier, nothing says escape the scene of the crime better than sleeping in the hotel adjacent. There's nothing more this way. There's a shop right in front of you, you silly fucking bitch. Look at that, look! I want to go in there. Deliver us. Oh, it's a delivery shop, so I probably... Why do we do that? Just stick ourselves in a box and ship us to England. Everyone, England's great. Hopefully, in 2038, we haven't done Brexit and we're still part of the EU and it's all good. What's this? Is this the motel room? I think so. Hi. What's up? Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars. Forty dollar hotels. That's not bad either. Just need your name and address. Uh, fifty-five Banging Mum Road. <laughs> that guy is like dams. Oh, maybe I could have. Uh, Rented a car instead, and we could have just driven away and then slept in the boot. Can I see your driver's license? I am not. I'm not driving. I left it in the car. No worries. Oh, forty dollars for replacing Detroit is, is overpriced. I don't know. With inflation, you would think it'd be a lot. A they got night. key cards. You would think Detroit was still using keys. All right, we did it. We only robbed two people. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. 
All I know is you'll be nice and warm today. All I know is I robbed a shop, murdered a man, still just rent a hotel room. Oh, we got fucking noisy neighbours. I'm going to shoot these assholes too. Who's who's playing the music? I'm just busting in and shooting them. you got to have some courtesy if you're in a hotel room. This guy. Someone here. Uh, I don't think that I can... I don't think I can manoeuvre behind the cars. Never mind. Never mind. All right, now I'm having troubles getting up the stairs. Up the stairs. What is with this game and stairs? All right, some bullet holes in the wall. Looks like a couple of shotgun blasts. It's fine. 29, 28. Right, let's go to 27. Nope, Alice is not having any of it. She's like, get in the fucking room, bitch. <sighs> okay, we're going in the room. Have a wash, take a shit. AC, not bad. And lights. Detroit's come a long way in 30 years. I don't even think this game is 30 years away. I think it's 20 years. So in 20 years, we got life quality robots and a, and a garden in Detroit. <sighs> you can hope for the best. All right, leave the gun on the table. That's... Look at that little TV. Come on. That's a, what a scam. No, no wonder this room's $40. I, was, I did For a minute there, it looked like there wasn't a door. Okay. Take a shit. Nope. Let's have a look. Let's look at the face of an armed robber. And a murderer. I keep forgetting that. Hmm. Kind of clean. Clean enough. Give me your coat. I wonder if this little girl's going to be super ungrateful when I give her a chocolate bar. Or if she's going to say, Where'd you get it? Where'd you get the chocolate bar? Alright. No nobody's looking. No one's looking. What else have we got? Mm, nothing. All right, let's just turn on the TV. Here we go. This is the pivotal moment. I have a chocolate bar. Are you hungry? I'm not eating a stolen chocolate bar. You didn't even eat my spaghetti. I've not forgotten about that, bitch. You're going to die over that spaghetti, you little fucking cunt. You're getting a shot in the face. I made tinned spaghetti, and you and your fat dad dropped them on the floor. And, yeah... I'm a robot, I got a hard drive, and I'm not going to forget. Also, it says optimal temp. To who? What if I want it cold? I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Why didn't we put her clothes in the fucking washing machine? That would have been smart. Optimal, I'm just fucking going. I'll leave her in her pants all by herself. Nope, not loud. This game doesn't give you enough options. What's this, a safe or a fridge? <laughs> I don't know. In Detroit, you would think you'd need a safe, but it's probably a fridge. So, so what? Stick our clothes down the toilet. The radiator! Obviously, it makes sense. All right, AC and a radiator, but the radiator is only in the toilet. That's, that's what I'm seeing, right? Okay, that's what. that's odd. Is it odd? I feel like... I feel like a radiator only heating up the toilet is a little redundant. Hmm, what if you need to heat up the beds? That's probably where you're going to be staying. Or does everyone assume you just have 24-hour shits and you'll spend more time on the toilet than in your own bed? I don't know. All right, what do I have to do? Hang, hang my coat is a mission objective. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, I think I can do this one. <laughs> Nailed it. Pretty good that that six foot four bloke has a shirt that fits pretty tightly on my five foot two woman. Convenient. Now on, I literally have no idea what I think I'm supposed to be doing. Comfort Alice. 
Don't worry, we'll rescue your jeans. They'll be fine. Why didn't he ever love me? Because you won't eat chocolate bars and you dropped my spaghetti on the floor. All I wanted was a life like other girls. Instead, I got a shit dad and a sex bot. Maybe I wasn't good enough. 100%. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. You should have been more lovable. Why couldn't we just be happy? Because you're such a miserable, sour shithead. <laughs> I stole you a chocolate bar, you're still sad. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Hmm. Hmm. Um, she looks like she's going to betray me. So I'll just lie. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Probably I'm going to get I'm going to break down in 10 minutes, so don't worry about it. I'm probably waterlogged. This girl needs to make up her mind. <sighs> what is this? The eyes closed. It's a moment. Right, go to bed. I'm going to eat your chocolate bar now that you don't want it. You should sleep now. CGB thinks I should lie non-stop. Just everything I say to her should be a lie. I think that's a good strategy. I think I have lied to her at every stage. I said I didn't rob the place. I'm always going to stay... I'll be here forever. I'll be... Goodbye! I want to... All right, let's turn it on super hot. Really? Oh, man, it's not letting me do nothing. This is... I can leave. Let's roll. Oh, I thought that was the door. Oh, I thought it was the door, ladies and shits. Instead, it's just the lights. All right, what do you think? Am I going to be woken up with 15 policemen bursting in? I don't want to kiss her. No, she's already asleep. Get out. I, oh, man. Fucking bullshit. It's so weird at what it will allow you to do and what it won't. I did not want to. Exactly. I wanted to go to the Eden Club. They have teased me. Oh, I can, I can leave. Goodbye. Oh, I can sleep in a chair. Why would I want to do that? I'll sleep in the bath. Can I take a shit? Been a while. Let me put... You know what I want to do? I want to put her shoes in the toilet. I want to put her jeans in the shower and then turn the shower on. And then I want to walk out the door. Proper rude boy robots. Hmm. Let's see. So I could sleep in the bed. Oh, those are my options. Sleep in the bed. Or sleep in a chair. I'll sleep in the chair. Just in case someone tries to burst in the door. I can save my chocolate bar. Because I worked too hard for that fucking chocks. Choco bollock. There we go. We did it. This game is just really captivating me. I thought I'd play like two missions. I don't know how long this stream has been on for. But I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Also, S33. I'm glad you enjoy what I do. It's good. The first girl you get to kiss in the game. Is, it, is that true? Whoa, look at all the fucking options from this one. Look at all of this. So there's an entire... An entire chain here that I didn't do. Maybe that was if I slept in the car park. There were tramps. And I would have had to have killed the tramps. Man, now I want to do this again and kill some tramps. Yeah, it must have been. Like, I don't know what's, what's down here. Once you're inside the supermarket, I presume if you don't steal, that's what this is. But that's an entire branch. Hmm. Eh, maybe on another playthrough. All right, we'll try one more mission.